the Godox X1TS TTL wireless flash trigger and how that will work is the, uh, the Sony A7 can trigger this autofocus assist beam and this can also trigger the flash on here what you need to do is update the firmware for this device um, and you do that by going to the the website okay so let's just go over some of the settings that you'll need to have your camera on the Sony a7 you'll need AF illuminator on auto mode I've had mine on auto flash and it works fine but presumably you can have it on any of these other settings um, apart from flash off for it to for it to work ah focus mode right right so we're in focus mode we want it on auto focus on continuous focus mode um, the onboard autofocus beam doesn't work so presumably that may affect the uh, God X1 so I just I don't use it in continuous autofocus and let's turn it on there we go as you can see it's in slave mode and it's in radio mode channel one if you're using a different channel then that's fine just tell just make sure they're both on the same channel uh, slave mode and also the group group A which is the same as we had on the XT1S and there you have it with those settings you should be good to go okay so let's go over some of the settings necessary for the Godox X1TS to work with your Sony A7 A7 III okay so this is the main switch on and off for the device this is the switch for the autofocus beam right okay so channel one yep we want it on channel one you can have it on different channels as long as your flash is on the same channel what you need to do is change some of the functions so keep your finger on the top button right function zero 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 I didn't do anything on that just leave that uh, toggle up function one needs to be switched on so function one press GR and then it'll start flashing toggle up to, to, to on turn it on okay function one to on and then toggle all the way up to function 10 that needs to be switched to 01 okay with A mode mode TTL I've put that to 3 um, TTL stands for through the lens and basically it's in regards to uh, your flash and it means how much um, pre flash you will have through the lens so I've chosen three which I guess is the maximum amount so I should have maybe a big pulse it's actually unnoticeable to the human eye um, but it controls how much pre flash you have um, the pre-flash is important because before I changed that I didn't have any TTL 
and the camera couldn't cope with the flash uh, the settings wouldn't adjust in time so with the pre-flash the camera can adjust the settings with the pre-flash and then by the time the proper flash kicks in which is milliseconds after the the pre-flash um, the camera is at the correct settings so you know feel free to adjust adjust that to suit whatever style you're using the flash in and this is flashing because it's just saying it's on um, but it's okay to cover that uh, because you'll want the support then you can move like that boom 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 you can see I've got the lens cap on so the camera thinks it's really dark and then you'll be able to see the assist beam autofocus assist beam there that's the look of the beam there you can see it the auto assist hitting the wall there and Boom. So I hope that was useful to at least somebody out there. Um, um, I'm not saying it's the only solution, but as for now, this is a way it works and it does work. So let me know if there's any comments or questions. And nice one. Thanks for watching. See ya.